That's Bobby Sherman. What's that? That's his hair. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He's not really my type. I'm torn between Barney and Ted Couple. <laughs> yeah, but Bobby could sing. You should hear his records. What's a record? Hi, <laughs> just bury me. That sweater you wore today is just gorgeous. Sure, no wonder Jason Matthews has a crush on you. Don't you think he looks just like Marky Mark? Three universal topics and sucking up. Grand slam. <laughs> Can this be our Maggie has a friend? You live long enough, you see everything. Where's Maxwell? Yes, I've been feeling a little under the weather, but I'm much better now. <laughs> He wants these contracts in London by morning. Well, here, hop on. With the time difference, you'll just make it. Fran, I'm on the phone with Cindy Wentworth. And she'd like to know what to bring tomorrow. I told her, potato salad and not the German kind. Niles, why is Miss Fine using the words Wentworth and potato salad in the same sentence? Uh, Miss Margaret and Miss Fine are hosting a mother-daughter debutante tea. You're hosting a society tea? Yeah, I thought we'd do potluck. That always goes over big. <laughs> what? Meanwhile, with all their money, go find someone to bring an entree. <laughs> You're asking Maureen Wentworth to bring her own food? Well, fair is fair. I mean, we're springing for the Make Your Own Sunday Bar, the cosmetic demonstration, and the gypsy fortune teller. <laughs> Come on, kids. Let's go wrap the gifts for the grab bag. Miss Fine, a moment. Does this mean you're not leaving? Sorry to disappoint you. I'll bounce back. <laughs> okay, kids, start without me. Oh, and Maggie, make sure you take the best gift and wrap it in aluminum foil. That way you could always grab it for yourself. <laughs> always the gracious hostess. Oh, you should have seen my sweet 16 at Benny's Clam Bar. We took over the whole half shell room. I'm sure it was the highlight of the flushing social season. No, that was the Astoria Boulevard block party. They had two of the four tops. It's fine. My point is, a society hostess should have style, flair, and a proper degree of social sophistication. Yeah, so? <laughs> so you're grossly underqualified. And yet, still, Maggie's first choice. <laughs> Miss Fine, this is not a popularity contest. And I won anyway. <laughs> I'll have you know, I have traveled in some pretty exclusive circles. I sat at the captain's table on the carnival cruise, past the A1 to Kathy Lee. <laughs> Miss Fine, this is not brunch with Captain Steubing. These women are vicious, backstabbing, judgmental harpies. I know they're my closest friends. <laughs> Oh, you don't scare me. I have sat in on my mother's mahjong group. <laughs> ah, my fears are allayed. Maggie's social future rests securely in your capable hands. <laughs> well, at least her fears are getting allayed. <laughs>